Without the slightest shadow of doubt, the Croatian Adriatic, with its 1,185 islands, islets, reefs and rocks, and all the ins and outs of its remarkably variegated coastline, can be proclaimed a mariner's dream destination. And dreams in this gorgeous Mediterranean archipelago have a knack of constantly turning into reality. The fairy tale islands and coves just have to be sailed. We've devoted this edition of the Dream Point Video Guide to the Central Adriatic. We're going to sail together from romantic Premuda Island southwards via that seafarer's Eden, the Kornati Group, then the stirring destinations in the Shibanik Archipelago, down to gentle Sholta, and in our second video pilot, the coast and interior of Istria are dealt with, together with the northern Adriatic Islands, while the third pilot of the southern Adriatic reveals the many secret pleasures of a voyage from Brach to illustrious Dubrovnik. The Central Adriatic, the topic of this video pilot, offers sailors two attractive national parks. The Kornati, that legendary must-see of a park, and the Falls of Kuruka Park, which you can enjoy by sailing down to Skradin. Add to that Tilaschita Nature Park, the tropical feel of the island of Vrgada, the quaint little Mediterranean harbours in Zlarin, Jiria and Drvenik, and many other hidden pleasures meant for all receptive travellers. But if we wanted to summarise for the pleasure-loving mariner the most intriguing feature of sailing in the central Adriatic, then the magic word is the bay. The island bays and coves of the central Adriatic are graced with charms that can hardly be ascribed to any other Mediterranean archipelago. Those who like taking a peek at the underwater world as well as sailing will also be able to relish the diversity of the central Adriatic. For divers, we might recommend the sunken ship and underwater cavern off Premuda the gorgeous underwater spots on the southern side of Dugi Otok, the striking underwater menu of the Kornati Islands, and an attractive spot not far off the western coast of Jiria. The Gourmet Fair of the Central Adriatic is a hedonist story on its own. Here you'll find fresh seafood with a vernacular touch, like Kornati Brudet, half-baked fish, cod, octopus and shrimp in a dozen ways. Before eating, it's worth tasting some of the best Adriatic herbal grappas, but more of this later. While those who are particularly avid for secrets of the kitchen might want to look up another of our videos, the wide-ranging gourmet guy to the Croatian Adriatic. and something about the sailing conditions along this part of the coast. In the central Adriatic, the prevailing summer wind is a pleasant maestral that rarely spoils the pleasure of sailing. In the winter, you have to pay due respect to the gusts of the cyclonic borer, while the Sirocco will sometimes show its strength on islands exposed to the open sea. Plotcha Point, two nautical miles from Rogoznitsa, is a kind of climatic point of division of the Adriatic and the weather will quite often change character just round here. There are slightly bigger differences between high and low tide than in the south, but they are still practically negligible. You have to take care of the currents only in the Mala and Veleka Proversa Straits, and in the channel between the mainland and the island of Murter. In the central part of the Adriatic, you can take advantage of the safety and services of a dozen island and mainland marinas. Refueling is a bit more tricky, for among the islands you can find a pump only occasionally. <laughs> 